I just got a brand new canvas tent from Spring Bar. And what that means is I need to season it. If you're not sure how to do that, we're gonna go through everything you need to know about how to season a canvas tent in this video. Now this applies not just to spring bar tents, but to any canvas tent. That could be, there's a lot of this same kind of style from White Duck uh, Canvas, from Kodiak, from Teton Sports. Then you can get canvas tents from Cabela's, Bass Pro Shops, um, Sportsman's Warehouse. Whether it's a wall tent, a bell tent, any kind of tent that's made of canvas, this applies. Even those bivy sacks and canvas tarps, the same process is good. Seasoning a canvas tent is essentially making it more water resistant. Before we ever go out to the campsite or go out to the woods, we wanna make sure that that tent is not gonna leak. We'd rather find out where it's leaking while we're here in our backyard than when we're out in the, the woods. So we're going to wet the whole thing down. That's gonna make all those cotton and canvas fibers expand. And then that will help seal any little gaps that might be left from just the manufacturing process, like the seams and the, the little holes from where the needle went through. So that's what we're gonna do today. You don't need a lot of equipment. You can see here, I've got my, my new tent in the box. I'm gonna set that up here. Then all you really need is a hose with some kind of um, attachment that provides a shower or, or just a nice even sort of waterfall. You don't wanna use anything high pressure, so we're not gonna be going into the jet mode, but you just need a hose with the basic attachment. And then you need a little spray bottle because I like to go on the inside and use this inside along the seam. So you'll see how that works. Now a spray bottle like that, this is fine. I'm gonna to try to expedite the process a little bit and use one of these pump sprayers. Now, if you're, this is a brand new one, but if you're gonna go use one out of your garden shed, make sure you've rinsed it out thoroughly so you're not putting any weird pesticides inside your tent. But really all you need are, are these couple of things. So let's get to it. First step, set up the tent. It is a hot day, but that's a good day to season the tent because once we wet this thing down, we want it to dry off. So I'm going to start when the in the inside. That's why I've got my little spray bottle and I've got the bigger one in there. We're gonna go across all the seams. After we've done that inside thoroughly, we're gonna come outside, we're gonna soak the, the outside. Now, usually when these went through, when the canvas went through the manufacturing process, it went through some sort of uh, treatment. So there's already kind of a water repellency. In fact, I broke a sprinkler line when I was putting the stakes in, water popped up and you could easily see the, 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 the water beating up on the canvas. So it's already got some water repellency. If you did just go out of the woods, especially on a summer day, a uh, weekend when it's not supposed to rain, you're probably going to be fine. But I like to season my canvas tents, so this is how we're going to do it. All right. Very nice in here. So this is, this is kind of a big tent, so it's gonna take a little while, but I'm just gonna start here. I've got just plain water in there, nothing fancy. And I'm giving a, a thorough coat along all these seams. Anywhere there's a seam. So I'm gonna go along all the windows. I'm gonna go along all the zippers. That seam along the top of the roof on this one, I'm gonna go hit. And I'm just gonna go around the whole darn thing. I wanna show you kind of what the, the problem we're trying to solve here. See there's some light shining through those seams. Now those are just where the needle went through. I'm probably not gonna see any water in this. And frankly, this one looks super tightly sewn, but sometimes you'll see some light shining through some of these. And that's really what we're trying to seal up. And that's normal. It's not a problem or a defect or anything. But when you wet it down really good, those fibers will swell up and, and squish together. And that's what we're looking for. Now, if you want to expedite a little bit, like I'm trying to do here, I'm going to get out this pump. Again, this is just plain water in there. There's nothing fancy in there. And this might just save me, save me a little time. Yeah, look at that. It'll go a little quicker and I won't have to pump my breath so many times. Now that we got the inside done, we're gonna start on the outside. Now, another little tip, if you have the opportunity, if the weather's in your favor, it's great to double season these. And what I mean by that is, if you know you've got maybe a warm day followed by a rainy day, that's a great time to season a tent, so long as you can leave your tent set up in your yard for a few days. We'd hit it with the hose, get it real nice and wet, it kind of starts to dry out, but then a nice steady even rain for a day or even two, hitting that tent, that canvas is gonna seal up real nice once it's totally dried out. I don't have the opportunity to do that today. It's been 100 degrees and, and uh, hot. We're not gonna be able to double season it. So I'm gonna do my best with the garden hose. Oh, 
not that. Just a reminder, no full spray, no jets. You don't want a lot of pressure. You want a nice shower like this. You could do the mist or a cone. That might take a little longer, but th that would work too. Any of those, no jets. I'm gonna use the shower effect. You'll notice that uh, the water's kind of beading up on there and that's okay. In fact, I expect that it's a sunny day. Well, because there's that, that treatment of the canvas and it's brand new. So I'm just gonna get it as thoroughly wet as I can. I'll probably go around it a couple of times. I also left the awning rolled up. Now you can roll that out and season that too, but I didn't feel like that was totally necessary today because mainly because that's not the part I'm gonna be sleeping under. And if I am out camping and it's raining and that gets rained on and leaks a little bit, that's normal. So. I'm going to focus on getting all the, the doors, windows, roof, walls all real nice and wet. I'm just going to go around the whole thing, do it a couple of times until I feel like it's good and wet. So you want to make sure you do every side. Get the roof pretty thoroughly. It's going to beat up and roll off and that's fine. It'll start to absorb after a while, especially if you're out camping and it's raining. So make sure you get those seams nice and thoroughly. Every seam. And I'm gonna do this a couple of times. I'll probably spend 30 minutes or so closing this thing down real thoroughly and a couple of times so that it gets at least past the point where right there, brand new fabric is beating right up. I want to get it to where it starts to it starts to soak in a bit. That's ideal. And there you kind of see that already on this right in there if you can. You start to see it soaking up. So we go through this, so it's all done. So as a review or what we're doing here as you go around your tent you are doing something like i've got it on flat setting or, sh or that works pretty good shower setting that's nice and easy we're coating the whole thing going up all the seams going on the roof going around the whole bit i already cracked that window open because i did the inside i've gone around the whole thing now once well, actually a couple of times. I went through it pretty thoroughly and I recommend you go around it a couple of times. Make sure all those seams are good and, and uh, soaked in and that it feels pretty damp, pretty wet to the touch. Once you get there, you just let it dry. And now's the, the easy part, but do not, under any condition, pack this thing up when it's wet. Now that you've made it all wet, you need to make sure it dries out thoroughly. So I'm lucky today it's 100 degrees. It's going to be the same tomorrow. I'm going to leave it out. I'm not gonna turn the sprinklers on they are tonight and I'm just gonna let it dry out tomorrow. Then I'm gonna pack it up and hopefully go straight to the woods either tomorrow or Friday for a camping trip. So there it is. Remember, do the inside seams, do the outside thoroughly, let it dry out real good and that you'll have a canvas tent that'll last you for years and years. I've had one like this before that lasted forever and, and they're great tents. Kudos for getting that kind. It'll breathe well, it's, they're great in the summer. They're not too hot and they're not too cold in the winter. And this one in particular actually has a hot tent setup where you can put a stove inside. Should be another video on that coming out soon, so check that out. But right here, I'm gonna have a stovepipe coming out. And this is gonna be an awesome backcountry hunting tent machine. So, hope you liked this video, hope it was helpful. If you did, like the video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on the next gear review or helpful gear video.